Hi, I'm Dorothy Welsh and welcome to my channel. Today's reading will be for the week of May 10th. There's been an awful lot going on this week. There's been an awful lot going on this, these last few months. Actually, this entire year, there's been a lot going on. 2020 will be quite a memorable year for sure. Let's see what's going on this week, though. In our personal lives, in the world, whatever comes up is fine. So the first thing that comes up is all of the information that is coming out, we are seriously doubting. Um, is it truth? Is it lies? Is it truth? Is it lies? We don't even really know yet. Our eyes are blinded for sure to the truth. So what's coming up this week, there's going to be a lot of information coming forth. Obviously, television is a big thing. We're all at home right now. We're all watching the television. Our eyes are glued. One of the things that really could keep you centered and make you feel a little bit better is if you turn off the television or turn off the news. Again, everyone knows this is an election year. We're coming close, closer to it for November, but you're going to start to see commercials. You're going to start to see slashing commercial commercials. Um, and the one thing that you can do is not listen to it all. I really feel like it's going to be um, a slash fest. You will not know what is truth, what is not truth. Most of it will be true. Um, some things will be unbelievable for sure. But please be discerning in everything that you see. Question everything. This is the important thing is to question everything. When you don't question everything and you just take everything at face value for what people are saying, you really are swayed into their way of thinking. So one thing that could help is um, to the truth be told is all about your throat chakra. So that color is a blue color. So surround yourself in blues, meditate with blues, try to think about what is truth, what is not truth. We all have the right to hear the truth and a lot is going to be coming out. And this is only going to start this week. This is going to continue, as you know, throughout the end of the year, not even, not even at the election, but it's going to continue throughout the end of the year and into the next year. It just feels like there's so much um, corruption and lies out there. It's such a shame. Such a shame. We can pray for honesty, for truth, for integrity. And I think that's what we really should do is, is pray for honesty, truth, and integrity. Uh, what is fair, what is not fair, as I said, is coming out. A lot of truth will be coming out. A lot of things will be coming out. There will be also reasons to celebrate. Some, some good things are coming out of all of this. Uh, one thing I want to say is Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Every one of us is a mother, whether you're a pet mom or you're a human mom. Uh, you're, you're a mother and you're a helper and a healer to others as well. We as, as women, we are nurturers to begin with. And our MO is to help and to heal. So happy Mother's Day to all of the wonderful ladies out there. So we have the chariot that comes out is the discerning effort. Again, no, notice the two sides that you could, you could believe in or you could trust or not trust. More medical information is going to come out. Again, be discerning, please, because some of these things that are out there already are not complete truth. Um, the truth comes out and then it's spun in a different direction and, and then a lies are in a different direction. So they want you to feel a certain way. They want to, you to think a certain way. Um, television is sort of geared that way that they sort of have the narrative and you're the one that, that watches. So turn off the television and reconnect to each other. I think that's going to be the biggest um, message here today is tune into each other instead of the television. Uh, love is to be found and that's you know the one thing we want love in this world we want to bring it you know be it you be the thing you want to see in the world I want to see love I want to see light I want to see healing I want to see honesty and truth and integrity um, be that person that you want to see in the rest of the world the hermit is someone who is also discerning someone who goes within to find the truth someone who goes within to find the truth so if you're not meditating please do so this is a message to please start meditating you know balance your chakras balance your body um, come back to center again uh, where you can start seeing and feeling the truth in all things. It will make you feel a little bit better because you're going to know what you can weed through because there's going to be a lot of spun 
narratives out there and sometimes it is hard to see through it all and to see the truth but again bring the blue colors out the blue will help you to discern the truth from from falsehood uh, not really sure you're liking what you see and you're right nobody's liking what they see right now lessons to be learned in all of this there are lessons to be learned in all of this you know who to trust who to not, who not to trust um, you know what we should be paying attention to in our lives and as I said, going back to family, going back to your roots, what you should be paying, paying attention to are the people in your lives. You know, who really matters? What really matters? You know, when, when all is said and done, our lives still go on tomorrow. The sun still rises. We are still the same people. How are you going to be after all of this is said and done? Go back to your family roots. Take a break. As it's saying, take a break from television. Uh, what's going to be put out there are not truths. There's going to be a lot of lies out there this week please be discerning again turn off your television take a break go outside if you can take a ride if you can uh, just sit back and read a book if you can there's lots of different things to distract yourself away from television because it's not going to be pretty this week it's going to start this week it's going to really rev up in July July is going to be one of the big um, revving kind of months that I feel as we go toward election and a lot of everyone knows already this is a big political ploy uh, we're going to get past all this though like i said next year things will be different the year after things will get easier things will start to get easier um, but this this time right now is a difficult time that everyone's going through again a lot of lives have been lost through all of this and yes this is a war we're fighting and and right now we're fighting for honesty integrity we're fighting for our health right now and if everyone can just you know again get back to family support each other support one another be there for each other this week will be a lot easier this month this next month this year will be a lot easier if you remember what's most important is your family roots your traditions your integrity keep that alive this is really very 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 important uh, the knight of cups as that last card came up is there will be some truth being told as well so again be discerning um, a lot of things will be coming in quickly but with it being upside down means it's a little bit delayed so it might you know more truths might come out the following week the following week the following week and i know as we're going on to this corona virus investigations there'll be more truths coming out and you won't know all of it until the end of the year and, and even into next year you're not going to really know the truth for another year or two of everything that's going on numbers are not right that's all i can say is all of the numbers are not correct um it's what they want to happen it's what they again that spin this putting they're putting a spin on all of this but none of the numbers are correct what you're seeing is it's like again falsehood a lot of falsehoods out there a lot of forked tongue falsehood so be discerning with all of this uh things are coming quickly things are definitely coming quickly again there will be truth telling as well um some of the things will come awful quick and you won't believe what you hear you won't you just won't believe it and like i said let it settle in um something like this happened last week as well where some of the things that came out as truths were unbelievable there'll be more of it there'll be much more of it i feel like every week there's going to be something else with truth telling and honesty and integrity coming out and everyone will be shocked and and saying no that's not true it can't be it can't be it can't be but you'll see you will see uh the nine of pentacles is be happy in your own space right now you are the queen goddess or the king in your own space this is exactly where you should be you know being home is still the safest place for everyone is being home uh, you know you want to go out somewhere you know close by that's fine um, you know being out in nature would be amazing because again the sun is healing in every aspect the sun is healing so um, if you could get out there for a little bit again get your vitamin D you know take your vitamins vitamin B C and D D is out in the Sun but get your vitamins in. make sure that you're paying attention to your health as I said health family and health are the, the the first two most important things this week is getting back to your roots getting back to your family and and keeping your immune system high and your strength high the temperance card comes up meaning um, there's a lot of balance that can happen here a lot of things are out of balance as you can see from the crooked cups they're not completely balanced in the water out of the water there's a lot of crooked things going on but the angels are still here angels are still here the light the light is still here and we will be able to see all of that so again just sort of um weed through it turn the television off get back to roots get back to family the message just keeps coming through again and again and again some worries for some of you are coming up worries about and i know we're going to be opening up um a lot of the cities are opening up now a lot of the states are opening up now 
Uh, locally, we will have a few weeks more delay, but we will be opening up little by little by little. And there is a lot of worry and concern around it. If everyone just stays careful, you're already doing it. You're already putting your masks on. You're already washing your hands. You're already washing all the things that come in, in and out of your house. And you're keeping your distance. And right now, this is what should still be done, especially when we all get back together again, is to keep that social distancing and to keep the mask on. It's very, very important for everyone that you keep the mask on, uh, not only by getting something, but by spreading something as well. Um, allergies out there are really bad this time of year. So everyone's feeling a little congested and all of that stuff too. So, you know, that's, that's just something that normally happens each and every year. Please don't be concerned and worried about all of that. When you're a little stuffy, just, you know, take what you normally take and go on with your daily lives. Um, okay. So I'm getting a message about a man this week and I feel like it's a relationship. There's a woman and a man and the man and the woman aren't getting along this week. And um, there's some truths coming out in your in a relationship that you're feeling and you're sensing. And there's something about this man that has high integrity, but he told a little white lie. And I kind of feel like I want to say, please be forgiving. Please be forgiving to this person. I feel like their heart is in the right place. Their heart was always in the right place. But there's a little white lie that they're telling. And this is a relationship. There's something about a relationship. Please be willing to forgive. That's important. Please be willing to forgive. This man is a person of integrity. Just told a little white lie. So um, we can let that go. It's something that we can forgive. We are able to forgive. Ace of Pentacles coming up. Offers will be made. There will be offers being made. Um, lights at the end of the tunnel. Vistas at the end of the tunnel. Beautiful flowers growing in the fields. Um, there are some jobs that are opening up. So as we can see with these companies, okay, so I, this is what's coming up for me now is a lot of the corporations, smaller corporations are closing up, bigger corporations are opening. So as we come into this new era, I guess I want to say, of course, I'm thinking Amazon is one of the biggest companies out there. Hiring, hiring all around. Go work for them if you want to. It's going to be great. You know, there's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of people out there needing jobs, wanting jobs. I, I, for some reason, all of these big corporations are coming up, hiring more, hiring more. But what I want to say also is don't forget about the little guy. The little guy is really, really important here to keep, to keep them alive. Because when all of this goes, you know, when all of this comes back to, to normal again, you're going to want those little mom and pop places. You're going to want your little pizza place. You're going to want your little restaurant. You're going to want your little, you know, hairdressing places. You're going to want your little places that you buy clothing at, you know, all of these places where these mom and pop shops are trying to stay alive. Please support them at this time because they're trying to get by too. So instead of maybe buying really big, because everyone does this all the time, I do the same thing. I buy from big companies because it's cheaper pricing. And that's what we're all thinking is, hey, if it's cheap, I can get it here. But if you really support these local people, they'll still be alive at the end. The companies will still be here. And that's really what we want. We want diversity. We want a choice. And if everyone buys from all one place, you know, then there is no choices afterwards because they're the only companies that survive. So think about this, you know, offers of money, offers of jobs, offers of prestige, but keep your integrity because the integrity is going to get us through many more years later on down the road. A lot of people are actually going to start opening up their own businesses after this is all over. And I really feel like people want to be entrepreneurs. They want to be doing this. So right now, a lot of online businesses are happening. A lot of virtual things are happening, virtual meetings, virtual, um, you know, obviously I am doing them as well, virtual readings as we're doing right here. Um, they'll be doing a lot a lot more companies will be doing a lot more and we can also do virtual shopping which is a great idea so but please support the virtual shopping of the mom and pop shops this is really important because we want to be um we want to be a little normal in the end and we want everyone to have enough and we want everyone to be happy and supporting each other in this great great global event is um is a wonderful thing when it's all finished the Knight of Pentacles is someone who comes in with truth and with honor. Uh, a little delayed, a little, again, upside down means a little delayed, but there will be money here. As I said, the money will come even for the little mom and pop shops. Uh, the money will come. Support your local places. I can't say that enough. Uh, Knight of Pentacles means things are going to get better. Things are going to get better financially for all of us. 
Um, you won't have to be taking money from the government. You will be able to support yourselves. Uh, there will be a lot of people making their own money at this point. I really feel a lot of virtual online things are going on. So we will be depending on the dependent on the online community. And I think all of us are really coming together as a community online at this point. And I would definitely encourage that. I think it's a wonderful thing because it keeps you safe at the same time. A lot of people are already and have been working from home for a long, long time, working remotely. You will see more of this coming in the future because a lot of work really can be done online. So uh, no one needs to be out there. I mean, we, we do have our emergency workers that need to be there. We do have our few personnel that need to be there on site, but there's a lot of virtual things that can happen as well. So that is going to be a big booming business, this um, online virtual stuff, by the way, um, as we do, uh, you know, video and we do audio online and this connecting through the internet is going to get big and even more popular than it is today, believe it or not. Some things will be over, cycles will be over, cycles will be over. So not only were we talking about business, okay, so there is, we go back to this relationship again. Again, I'm getting arguments with this relationship, this man and this woman in this relationship. The man is of integrity, but again, he spoke out of line and he did a little bit of a little white lie. Uh, this is coming back again. So this may be in more than one relationship here, why it's coming back again, um, meaning that it's more for more than one person. So again, be willing to forgive, be willing to work things out. Uh, conversations, communication is the key here. Communication with everything helps us to heal. Communication and honesty helps us all to heal. So we want it in each other, right? We want honesty and we want honest communication with each other. Let's demand honesty and integrity with the media as well. So if we can demand honesty and integrity with, with main media, this is gonna be an amazing thing because we have the right to be told the truth. And right now we haven't been told the truth for many, many years. And everybody knows this, it's not a secret that you know the narrative is being you know, told and taught. Um, Truth telling is exactly what we're asking for and praying for at this time. So the tower coming up upside down, everything you knew is going away. Everything you knew is going away. Upside down means a little delayed. Again, as I said, lies will be told from this point forward all the way through election through the end of the year and a little bit beyond even up till February. I feel February 2021, there'll still be some lies. Being discerning and and realizing that, you know, even though you're having the 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 rug pulled out from under you and it may be shocking at first to hear all of this stuff it still is truth and that's really what needs to come out the truth really does need to come out whether you like it or whether you don't like it it makes no difference truth is truth lies are lies you can either decide to you know believe in the lies or believe in the truth so even though it may be um, something you don't want to hear again this is delayed which means it's not this week it's going to be in the next few weeks coming up um, it's something I think that we need to hear and we need to get used to, you know, truth telling. I'd rather be told the truth rather than be uh, told a lie. And I think everyone feels the same way. Uh, this next card is taking a break from all these things. Notice that it's upside down, meaning, again, we are weeding through. We are weeding through. Even though we wanted things to be relaxing, I'm telling you, it's not going to be. <laughs> it just feels like there's going to be a lot of upheaval in the media. Uh, the media feels like it's a really big thing here. That's why I say turn your television off. It's not worth listening to at this point. It is not worth listening to. Just live your life the way you would live it. You know, be safe, be home, be careful. Uh, masks, gloves, uh, you know, wash, wash often. Take care of each other. That's what's really most important right now. And looking back, don't we all wish things could be the way they were before? Sometimes it's better to have closed eyes, and a lot of us would rather have closed eyes. And for some reason, I keep feeling The Matrix coming up. I don't know if everyone's ever seen the, the movie The Matrix, but there was this one point where one of the operatives went into The Matrix, and he was a spy for uh, The Matrix. And... Um, you know, one of the things was he was eating this amazing steak and he said, ah, oh, like ignorance is bliss. And you know what? Ignorance is bliss. However, it's still ignorance. So this is a choice for all of us. Do you want to live in ignorance or do you want to live in the truth? It's up to all of us individually, you know, for what you want. So even though we're looking back and we'd like everything to be the way it was in the past, it's upside down means it's not. This is a whole new world. This is a whole new era that we're going into. How will we go into it in the future? This is up to you, how you want to proceed and how you want to get into this in the future, how you want your future to look for yourself, for your children, you know, for posterity's sake. Um, this is a decision. Again, I want to please shout out to that relationship. 
Please be honorable, trustworthy with each other. For some reason, I, I must not be getting the exact person here because it keeps coming up again, unless it's just really important. Little white lies are little white lies to keep people safe, but integrity and truth-telling is exactly what everyone wants to hear. So please be truthful in your relationships. Please be honest in your relationships. This is most important in moving forward because without honor and integrity, and truthfulness no relationship can exist so not just personal relationships but as we're talking about here there's a personal relationship that really needs more honesty in it and and again moving forward that's how this relationship will survive with honesty and um, again um, a lot of forgiveness going on here but if we if we accept lies in our personal lives we're obviously accepting lies in every other part of our part of the world now and as I go back to the media again there's lies in all of this so uh, weeding through the truth is exactly what we should be looking at now workshops and seminars attending or giving speeches as part of your spiritual path and your purpose be open to teaching and learning as I said a lot of this online stuff is going to happen um, from this point forward this is a confirmation of all of this from the angels there will be more seminars, there will be more classes, there will be more workshops, all online. I feel like a lot of this is going to be digital. We are not going to be meeting for a long time. Uh, we will be, get back, there will be social distancing, but it won't be the same. There's still going to be a lot of alternative teachings, a lot of alternative classes, a lot of alternative learnings. You know, see what you want to, what you want to learn about, see what you are interested in. Uh, whether it be spiritual, whether it be intellectual, whether it be, um, you know, mental, emotional, it doesn't matter as long as we are learning and growing each and every day. Um, you know, go with what feels right to you. Uh, there's a, a wonderful online university called Coursera.com. There's lots of other online universities. I, I think I just saw Harvard. Harvard University was giving free classes. So take a look on Harvard and, and sign up for something. It's, you know, it's kind of neat, something to do. It's free right now. It's free to go to Harvard, believe it or not. Next card is the indigo card. Uh, I notice how I turn this upside down. I want to explain that where the angel cards are never upside down. Just so you know, angel cards are always right side up. The indigo is a person that you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. So the indigos are someone who is very sensitive. We are all, just so you know, this is the age of Aquarius. We are all becoming very spiritual at this point. We are becoming very open at this point. We are becoming very intuitive at this point. Each and every one of us are becoming more sensitive. Our eyes, our ears, our nose, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, our sense of hearing, everything is perked up at this point, which means you are connecting. So believe what you're feeling. Like I always go back to your angels and guides speak to you in your body language. If your head is confused and you're not really sure what the truth is, stop listening to it. Go back, take a few deep breaths, meditate, ask your angels to come into your body, and then feel how your body's reacting. If your body feels wonderful and light, then that's a yes answer. And it feels a little bit discerning and it feels a little bit cautious that's a big no answer for you so this is something to really pay attention to as we are all growing in unison right now we are all growing and learning together all right angels angels body movement and right now being home it's really hard to get some body movement going on but what this is saying is we can release our stress and our pent-up anxieties by getting out and taking a walk that's pretty much what this is is a body movement whether it be stretching at home exercising at home doing qigong doing yoga doing pilates whatever it is that floats your boat whatever feels good to you start moving around a little bit more uh the body like i said the the community right now is opening up. There will be more people traveling, more people doing things again outside. This is a good thing. Again, notice how they are also social distancing people. Please keep your social distance, but please keep yourself moving. This is about connecting and reconnecting yourself to the earth, to the planet, as we are here to heal the planet as well. We are helping us, helping each other to ground each other, ground each other and anchor yourselves into the earth. There's a lot of healing out there in mother nature. Connect to mother nature, go out in, in the gardens, go out into the the yard you know sit for a little while soak up the sun um, you know feel the grass under your feet it's going to be amazing parenting and children is really important here notice the darkness in this card so this is an amazing message here as the angel comes in in this darkness to help you with your children as well so um 
posterity, as I said, this is all about traditions and about passing on things to the next generation. So please tell your stories, tell your stories to your children and your grandchildren, write them down or video with them if you want to, you know, write a book for your kids, you know, of, of your family history, because this is something being passed down is really important for the future generations of your family. Again, it's, tr it's all about traditions and it's all about, um, you know, your name moving forward in life. So the angels are here supporting you in every way. So one thing this card is really bringing up for me is this one angel and this one little baby angel, this is a light in the midst of darkness. One candle can light up an entire dark room. One candle can light up an entire dark room. So through all of this darkness, there is still some light. You are the light. Remember to burn your light, to shine your light, shine your light brightly in this crazy world right now, because we need all the light workers to come together and shine their lights brightly. So I'm going to do a confirmation reading with these other beautiful cards. What messages do we need to hear? What messages do we need to hear? Okay. So we have the magician, as this came up last week as well, if everyone remembers. Notice the roses of desire, all the things we want, and remember the symbol of eternity, as the magician has all the tools at his commands. All nature is all around him as well. Notice the butterflies have changed. He is wearing the cloak of intelligence, of knowledge, of power. So you have the power within you to move past this. Remember, go back to your roots, go back to your family, turn off the television. You have control over all of this. You just don't realize that you're the one with the most power here in your own life. You're the one with the most power to bring the light forward in your families and in your future. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Again, this is another message. This is all about family. The Ten of Pentacles is getting back to your roots and your family. Grandfather, parents, and grandchild, along with the family dog in this big house here. This is all about our roots and our posterity. So the message continues here to go back to your family. Turn off the televisions. Have fun with your families. Reconnect with each other. This is so important, again, to pass on traditions of your family. Write down, write down all of your family history for, again, the grandchildren, because this is something important to be passed forward. And then we have the Two of Cups. Again, this partnership, notice how it was upside down. This partnership, it's a wonderful union. Notice how it is blessed by the beautiful light here and the flowers around their heads. It's like a union. This is a blessed union. So this relationship is really a good relationship. Again, he may have said something wrong. Please forgive him. That's all I can say is we are the light. We can forgive. And this is a lesson moving forward. If we have that light within us to forgive, he may also too. So he may want the light just as much as you do, and it's showing him that you could be bigger than that. So again, this relationship is worth saving. We also have the temperance card, which the temperance card came up again. It's all about having patience. Notice how the rainbow is here. The light and the rainbow is here. This angel is here showing you that even through the midst of all the chaos and the imbalances, the temperance card tries to bring balance back in. Notice the rainbow. Notice her foot in and out, which is the imbalances that have been going on. Notice the cup and the water flowing, the imbalances that have been going on. We need to bring the light in. So bring the light in. Have patience with all of this. Please have patience throughout this year. Like I said, there's going to be some information you don't want to hear. Turn off the television. It's going to be the best thing to do. And this last card here, upside down, this is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords brings intelligence. It's all about intellect and intelligence. Notice the hawk here rising above the hawk rises above so listen the intelligence and the intellect you're going to hear lots of knowledge lots of information be discerning upside down means be discerning be discerning about what you're hearing about what you're seeing about what's going on but the hawk here rises above all of this and also brings messages so the hawk brings beautiful messages of a spiritual new beginning and that's what's really coming up a spiritual new beginning for all of us so I'm going to my next deck, which is the fairy cards. We have some confirmations here. I love this deck. The more I use it, the more I really am uh, enjoying it. So the next card here is the Ten of Winters, a confirmation, the resolution of difficulties. As I said, we may be going through the midst of this chaotic information, this era of information, or should I say the era of misinformation. Turn off the television. Go back to your roots. The resolution of difficulties will be had here. Uh, weight is lifted off of your shoulders and it's the end of an addiction or codependency. There might be some changes in the media. Wouldn't that be wonderful? 
So mainstream media may be changing. I would love to see a change that everyone can report on the truth. Please report on the truth, would be nice. Um, an end of addiction or codependency. Are you really that dependent on the television? Please turn it off. We are addicted to televisions. We're addicted to our phones. I'm included. We're addicted to our phones. So please, with all the information going out there, this is going to be a beautiful week. We're going to see some sunshine coming up. You know, after, I feel like it's really after this week. I almost feel like we're a week delayed as far as planting is concerned and all of that. So, you know, get out there, get your hands in the dirt, plant some beautiful flowers, plant an organic garden. Wouldn't it be great to grow your own food? You know, even if it's one tomato plant, please grow an organic garden, put something great out there and, you know, make it grow, watch it grow, watch your hard work, you know, harvest into something amazing. Um, you know, by the end of the season, you'll have tons of beautiful tomatoes or whatever it is you decide to plant. Uh, lots of herbs can be planted out there. If you have something tiny, you know, it could be herbs like you know, basil is an amazing thing. Um, you know, do the things that make you happy. But watching something grow is a message of new life to come because when it grows, we can grow as well. So there's lots of messages in nature if we really choose to see them. So it's moving forward. Let's see what's happening here. I felt like that wasn't the card, so. All right, so that one turned over. I'm just going to have to use it. The dreamer. The dreamer comes up. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. Embrace your true purpose. Your true purpose in life is to be honorable, is to be truthful. It's also to find love, joy, and happiness in all its forms, no matter what that be. I love my house, love my car, love my shoes, love my shirt, love my job, love my partner, love whatever it is that's going on. If you don't like something, get rid of it and bring something in that brings you love, joy, and happiness. If you're happy going to work, that's amazing because a lot of people really aren't. So as we talked about the weeks before, you know, people will be changing that. A lot of online things are going to be done and a lot of new businesses are going to be out there. So look forward to the new mom and pop businesses that may be going on online as well. So um, I look forward to seeing all of that and seeing how they do things. I think there's going to be more software that people can use as well. So software companies are going to get bigger and going to be known more. You know, I know we have YouTube, we also have uh, Zoom and Skype, you know, we're the two big ones here, but there's going to be a lot more online communities that you're going to wind up seeing as well. Our last message, our ending message is always from Archangel Michael, as I love Archangel Michael, he helps us to heal. So what this is saying, amazing Archangel Michael also has a sense of humor. Archangel Michael does have a sense of humor and he's asking us to have a sense of humor. As I said, with this week and the next few weeks coming up, we're going to need a sense of humor. And you know, it's funny, I don't know if any of you have ever like watched the news and started laughing at it and said, they're ridiculous. I can't believe they're saying this. Go with that. Go with your gut on that. If it feels like it's ridiculous, you're right. It probably is ridiculous. And if they're trying to push out some kind of narrative that you don't believe in, it's fine. And I'm not saying everything is a lie because it's not. But there are going to be some big things coming up here. So have a sense of humor through it all. One thing I'm really feeling is the presence of God is here. The presence of angels are here. They are here helping us to discern all of this information. When you know that you're surrounded by amazing, beautiful light beings and light angels and God himself is right here helping you, it makes life a little bit easier. It makes you feel a little safer that things are going to be okay in the end. And this feels like exactly what this message is from Archangel Michael. Things will be okay in the end if we can just have a sense of humor through it all and say how ridiculous this whole thing is <laughs> and everything's going to be fine in the end. You know, again, listen to the information, listen to the misinformation, try to discern the truth for yourselves because each and every one of us, we're all on a different path. Some may be ready to hear the truth, some may not be, and that's okay too. Your path is your own to live. So the prayer this week is, thank you for helping me to see the humor in this situation. Again, we're talking to Archangel Michael. So I always say, dear Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me to see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. <laughs> Funny. I am willing to view my experiences in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. One more time for this amazing message from Archangel Michael. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love 
and healing energy. I'm going to say that last part again. I am willing to view my experiences in a new light. Light, bring the light. In order to attract, I am attracting or manifesting love and healing energy. You attract love and healing energy by experiencing and viewing things in a new light. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for the wonderful message of humor. Have a sense of humor this week, people. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff that you're going to hear and see. Have a sense of humor through it all. Uh, thank you and blessings to each and every one of you. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, stay with your loved ones. Support each other. And have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you for visiting my channel, The Bucks County Medium. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below for more upcoming readings. And remember, every time you hit the bell, an angel gets their wings.